What's up, guys? It's Lance McCullers from the Houston Astros. We're here at beautiful Minute Maid Park here at Super Bowl opening night. We're about to go ask some players some questions, so follow along. I, I personally think you guys are going to take it home on Sunday. You, got, you know who won the World Series by any chance? The World Series? Mm -hmm. Come on, this, 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 yeah, the past World Series. You a base, baseball fan? No? Yeah. Who won? Who won? The Cubs. The Cubs? So you're a baseball fan then? Man, I like baseball. If I were to be an NFL lineman, I don't really have the stature for it. What, what were like some of like the things you would kind of advise me to, to do right. without without ripping my pants? My pants are kind of tight. Definitely need to uh, be able to think quickly. Okay. Uh, I need to be very tough. You know, I'm you not. Know. I'm not. I'm not very tough. You know. Need some toughness for yeah. sure. Do you like the? I mean, we're in Minute Maid Park right now. Do, yeah. Do you like the Astros at all? I'm a Atlanta Braves fan. Okay. Atlanta Braves. All right. Chipper Jones, I assume. Andrew Jones, Smoltz, those kind of guys. Yeah, Lance McCullers. Yeah, those guys. So. Hey, man, good luck on Sunday. What's up, Kevin? This is a crazy oh, We have the same glasses, yeah. though. I like them. Yeah, how's your offseason going? Right. Question number two. It's not the offseason. Oh, it's my bad. I mean, it's my offseason. Yeah. Yeah, so are you excited for the game? Come on, absolutely. Yeah. I wouldn't I don't know. How much are you guys going to win by? We just know they're to play. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We were going to talk to Devontae, but Devontae seems really serious and locked in on the game. So we're going to leave, we're going to leave him be. So how does it feel to be back in Minute Maid Park? You know, it's exciting. It's, it's good to be back here in Houston and uh, familiar surroundings. Obviously, uh, you say Minute Maid Park, been here for a few baseball games in the past, but right. exciting for this opportunity that we have on Sunday. How many, how many games do you think you attended when, when you had your tender here? I don't know, maybe uh, 12 to 15 games, maybe? Yeah, a year? Or just a no, total? no, oh. total. I mean, it's, no. it's not as easy to just come to a game. Uh, yeah, you were the king back in those days. No, I got other obligations. I got kids, got yeah. family. These are all the giveaways that the Astros, we're, we're in Minute Maid Park. So these are, all the, these are all the giveaways that the Astros are giving away. Starting with this, Lance McCullers Glow in the Dark Gnome. That's a pretty cool one. Cool. Do you think this is the best one? Uh, See, because that's my gnome. Does that look like me? Uh, I have a beard during the season. Oh, okay. Maybe with a beard on, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Good Burger, come by. We make great Good Burgers, Good Shakes. Is Good Burger a real thing? Yeah, Good Burger's a real is thing. It like, is it like, uh, is it like uh, Shake Shack? No, dude, we're better than Shake Shack, man. We're better. They just shake a lot. Like they shake up burgers. We like really make really good burgers. Did you have like a uh, like a like a certain phrase on that show? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it. You want to do it with me? Let's do it. That the filming of that one commercial you did. Yeah. When you were in your mom's yeah. your mom's house. Right. How did that kind of all come? Were you actually in your mom's house? No. No. It was actually a, a studio in Los Angeles yeah. with 65 people and two hairdressers, which is great because I've never had two hairdressers there you go. with a limited you had amount a, of hair. You had an awesome braid that day. What are, you, what are you wearing tonight? Official NFL sponsored. Oh, these are real. These aren't fake, everybody. These are these are the real deal. Toro is the man. Oh, look at those. Oh, these are real, too. One, two, three, four. Three. Welcome, Welcome to Good Burger, Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can, can I, I take your order? <laughs> can, I, can I work there? Up top, you can totally All do right, it. Sweet, man. Man. That suit too. I will. Thank yeah. you. Have a good one. And I, don't, I don't think I put it in that type of perspective, you know, where you. So if you had to rank like one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst, your favorite Astros giveaway this year, including uh, this one. Uh, what would you say is the best one? Definitely the Lance McCullers glow in the dark bobblehead. That's right. That's a yeah, ten. That's the a ten. gnome. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a ten. What's that's like? What's 10. like the Alex Bregman jersey? Like a one? That's like a one and a half. I'll okay. give him a little bit of credit. Give a half. Yeah. All right. What's it like being like the second best looking dude in the whole stadium? Second, huh? Yeah, Tom's first. Oh, Tom is? Yeah, Tom's. Did he tell you to say that? No, I can't get to Tom. I saw a Tom, man I saw a Tom mask here a little bit ago. So. That guy's not very good looking. <laughs> no. Jimmy thought I was talking about myself. I'm talking about Tom. So anyway, being here in Houston, like you're pretty excited to you know win that Super Bowl trophy and then be able to get out of the whole like the gate thing. Yeah, that's fine, baby. That's fine. That's fine. Coach, do you think um, having to deal with the dome and how the way the wind and all that kind of stuff affects the the dome is going to be an issue? Fair player, Altuve, Correa, Keuchel, McCullers. You know, no, no, McCullers. That's 
pretty disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. The GOAT! I'm next, right? You're next. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, so I, we saw when you when you clinched, you wore the, the Nolan Ryan jersey. Yeah. You're, you, are you an Astros fan? I see, I see what's coming. No, I thought it was fitting, man. Um, Logan Ryan, Nolan Ryan, the name's been confused. He's obviously far more successful. Yeah, but you're better looking. Time. I am better looking, so I'll give him that. Like you're, play, you're playing in a dome, the way like you know the the air condition and all that kind of stuff could affect could affect punts and and, and pass plays. I won't tell no one. <laughs> no, he's a great guy, man. A great, um, a great athlete, a legendary athlete. I thought it was a dope jersey. I love retro jerseys and stuff like that. It's something I've been wearing all year. Um, I thought it was fitting with the Super Bowls in Houston. I thought with the name, um, how he commanded the mound and how successful he was through time. I just thought it made perfect sense to throw it on, and it got a great response, and um, that's what fashion's all about. Yeah, cool, man. Well, we appreciate it. I'm Lance McCullers. I pitch for the Houston Astros, oh, really? and cool. we got a Nolan Ryan baseball for you. Thanks for repping the Astros. Yeah, man. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to Nolan yeah. Ryan for there that. There you go. Danny, how does it feel you're back home from the Woodlands, living out your dream, being able to be inside Minute Maid? It's awesome, man. <laughs> it's, it's honestly surreal. It's, I feel like we literally just got here a couple hours ago, so we're up here, man. I'm sure yeah. hit, me, you, hit me here the next Okay, week. ladies and Astros fan? see that the clock yeah, is Hell yeah, yeah. go Astros. New England Patriots. Yeah. Okay. So in a city filled with bearded icons such as Harden, Keuchel, a mid-season McCullers, how do you feel going to win a super, try to win a championship without a, without a beard? I think Edelman's got our beards covered. It's true. He's got a good beard yeah, and good, good beard. and good loafers. Yeah, he looks good. He yeah, looks good. And uh, yeah, I love that beard that he's got going. So he's got that one squared away. All right, good luck Sunday. Thank you. Hey, All right, guys, that is a wrap here at Minute Maid at Super Bowl opening night. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys at spring training.